This is a relation of William Grimshaw's account of his near-death experience. Absolutely amazing. And it's taken from a letter by Mr. Joseph Williams of Kidderminster. And I'm reading to you from a very rare book, Methodist Heroes in the Great Howarth Round. And now let us begin this account. One Lord's Day, as he was reading the common prayer, that is, Reverend William Grimshaw, he was seized with a giddiness, or swimming, which prevailed so far that he found himself incapable of proceeding, and thereupon beckoning to a man that was near, desired he might be helped out of the church, for he was very ill. Imagining it a death seizure, he, all the way through the churchyard to the clerk's house, most earnestly exhorted all about him to prepare for death, to be always ready to fly to Christ and to abide in him. As soon as he sat down in the parlour, where he gave one of this relation, he found that his arms for a handbreadth above the elbows and his legs for a handbreadth above his knees were cold as death. And thereupon those about him rubbed and chaffed his limbs with a supply of hot cloths for an hour or more, but he got no heat. While this was doing, he sitting in an erect posture with eyes open and lifted up to the ceiling, fell into a trance. He thought he saw a dark, foul passage, into which he thought he must go. And being entered, he saw, as it were, a very great high wall on the right hand, which was heaven, and another on the left, which was hell. He thought he overheard God the Father, holding conference with the Lord Jesus Christ concerning him. For a long time it seemed to go very hard against him, for God the Father would not save him because he had not wholly relinquished his own righteousness, to trust solely and entirely in the merits and righteousness of the Lord Jesus Christ. But the Lord Jesus pleaded for him. A long time he was held in suspense, hoping and fearing, but still it seemed to go hard against him. At last he thought he evidently saw the Lord Jesus put down his hands and feet as it were below the ceiling, and he had time enough to see that the nail holes in them which observed to be ragged and bluish, and fresh blood streaming from each of them. Instantly, he was filled with a joyful sense of his interest in Christ. His legs and arms grew comfortably warm on a sudden, and the vision disappearing, he rose up and found himself perfectly well. What a sobering experience that was for the Reverend William Grimshaw. Sobering yet wonderful. And just as a short postscript to this video, I'd like to tell you that after he had that experience, when he got up from his seat, he didn't describe it to anybody. In fact, he just stood up and said something like, Praise God, I have the assurance of the precious blood. And then he proceeded, without having to be helped physically, to go back to the church building. And the congregation had stayed there, just as he requested them to do. And he began to preach. And he preached apparently from one or two o'clock in the afternoon 
right through to seven o'clock in the evening. And the sermon was so powerful that several cried out to God for mercy. And from that point onwards, his ministry was even more effective than ever.